welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me on another video this week. I am so happy to be filming this video this morning. Um, it's a collaboration that I have to share with you today, so I'm really excited to bring this to my channel. First of all, how are we all doing? How has your week been? The weeks are just going by so fast at the minute. It feels like I'm filming videos and then before I've like managed to get them edited and uploaded, we're on to like the next week. I do feel I'm managing managing to get back to my weekly schedule. I'm not 100% there, but we, we are getting back. Um, I wanted to quickly say, so last night for the first time, I tried heatless curls. So it's not worked perfectly, but you can see it did curl. I think what's happened is the hair stayed in the headband, but it slipped down. I need to try and work out how to keep it really tight and all like up the way rather than it <laughs> I mean, when I woke up this morning. I don't know if you've seen them. It's like the heatless curl headband. It's just like a big noodle. <laughs> It was, I, I was like, okay, let's take the curls out. And then I looked in the mirror and it was literally like one bit was like poking over here and this bit was like over that way. It looked insane. So I was like, oh my God, it's not worked. It, it did curl the hair, but it's dropped. I, I don't know, I need to try and work out how to get all this part curled. So maybe in the future, I will be doing some sort of demonstration because I am hopeless at this stuff. Actually hopeless. Hair and makeup in general, isn't my forte and I, that's why I don't do too much content on those genres because genuinely I don't feel like I have much <laughs> much input I, I can't really say I just know what I do but for hair I love having the curls curled hair is so so nice now with my extensions it's easier if I go and get a blow dry but if I want to during the week or at the weekend just to simply have some nice curls this is this is my goal so I will be giving it a go again probably not tonight I think tomorrow night I'm going to try it again ready to go into work on Tuesday see if I can turn up with a bouncy blow dry watch this space I will come back about that but into today's video, I am so happy to be collaborating with Empress Shoes. So this is a little unboxing. I'm going to do a little discussion and a try on and a review of how the shoe actually feels. And one of the main goals with Empress Shoes is to provide a shoe that is both comfortable to wear, but also stylish. So here is the box here. Look how beautiful and regal this is. I am in love with the color. It just looks so grand, so royal. So I have admitted before that when it comes to shoes, I am so impractical. When I go on city trips, I have all my outfits planned. I have my heeled boots and I have my shoes. And whilst I'm not talking about walking around the city in stilettos, but even wearing a heeled boot, like my white boots, if you're walking 10,000 steps, 15,000 steps, even 20,000 steps some days, it hurts by the end. So Jack is always like, you know, just wear something comfortable. And I'm like, no, because this is the whole look. And I think sometimes when you're on city trips or you're having a day out, you don't realize how much walking you're actually going to be doing. Like you would never set out on like a country walk wearing like a heeled boot if you knew you were going to be walking like five miles or something. But in the city, it just doesn't feel like that. So I am always on a hunt to try and find shoes that still fit with my aesthetic but are comfortable and that you can walk for a decent length of time in. And actually my sister and I have this discussion every summer. I feel like moving into spring and summer, that is when things shift a bit. You're not going to be wearing your boots anymore. You need to be, well, you want to be wearing maybe just like a shoe or a sandal and to try and get something that is lightweight, not heavy, but comfortable, doesn't give you blisters, doesn't hurt. It's, it's an eternal struggle. So when Empress Shoes contacted me to the collab, I was immediately so excited because I just thought, I know this struggle. So I know that the pain point that their business is solving, I can totally relate to. So let us get into the unboxing. Okay, so I'm just gonna slide off the lid here. Look how cute this is. Oh my goodness. There's like a little purple rose. Now, hopefully this is going to focus because I did. Oh, it's worked. Yay. Because I managed to change the setting. Look how cute this is. Oh my God. I love wee details like that. It's just so, so nice, isn't it? I don't know. I was smelling it because I was like, <laughs> I know it's not a real flower. But anyway, look how cute that is. 
Love those little details. Okay, so here are the shoes. They are in their little covers. So I'm just gonna take them both out here. If you have followed my style for a while, you'll know that a Mary Jane shoe is one of my favorite styles. I think it is so cute. It is so feminine. It has that slight retro feel to it. I, I So I have a white pair and I have my black, very high heeled ones. But now I have a little everyday walking Mary Jane style shoe. Look how cute these are. So I'm gonna talk through the different styles of the shoe. Let me see if I can hold this closer just to give. Oh, is it gonna focus? I don't know if it has. Okay, but you can see the style of the shoe. So I went for the ones that have the little heel. They do come in a completely flat version. But for me, I love having a little heel, even if it's just just very, very low, but to walk around, I think for me, it just gives me that little elevation. So onto some of the design features, because I know this is a main part of the, the style of their shoes. So there is a square toe basically for comfort. I mean, I have like pointy stiletto shoes, but how uncomfortable is it when you think about the fact that your toes are literally being forced into a point. So you have this, it's like, it's like a soft square. It's not like a hard edge square toe at the front. And then you have this little heel at the back. Hopefully that is focusing there. So it's not too high at all. And you have this little strap here that gives it that little Mary Jane feel. I mean, how cute would this be with like little socks or tights? You know, I love my tights. I would definitely be wearing this, a sort of Blair Waldorf kind of look, maybe pattern tights or even just the simple um, nearly black, black ones I love. Um, also, what I noticed in the box was these insoles, so I think this is going to give you that next level of comfort, and so I'll just hold them up. So these, you can slide in, and they are going to give you more support right around the arch, and that is also an area I sometimes feel this pain kind of go through, where I feel like there's just not enough support. So this has it, it's built up, like, more on one side, so you can just slide that into the shoe. In the description of this shoe with the insole, it says it should feel like you are wearing trainers when you are not. And this for me is definitely something I want to test out because I I don't really wear trainers that much, but I know how comfortable they are. Trainers, if you need something that you're gonna walk, like bounce along the streets in, they're gonna get you there. I only have one pair of like white plimsolls I wear in the summer. And if I know like we're away somewhere that we are doing a lot of walking and there is really nothing I can do about it, though that's what I would wear. But I'm very intrigued to see how comfortable these are in comparison. So there is different styles. So they're on their website, there is the flat version. This style also comes in different colors. There's also a patent style, which I thought was really, really cute. But I think what I will do now is just try them on and see how they feel and how they sit. Just before I pop them on, I meant to see what they are made from. So they are made from a sustainable leather and you can definitely tell that this is a quality product. You know that way when a shoe just feels really flimsy, they do feel nice and soft, but also there's like structure to it. And it's, 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 yeah there is a quality to the material and nice to know that they are using a sustainable method. So I will pop them on and I'll come back. Okay, so what I've decided to do is I've popped them on and I thought I'm gonna take Teddy out for a little walk, go for a walk and properly test them out so we can fully review them in this video. I have to say, immediately when I put them on, I could feel the soft sort of spongy sole it honestly it is such a comfortable sole so already i feel like this is an improvement on anything that i have um i'm gonna do more like better close-up shots but they do look really cute on and i feel like even with this outfit just like a simple little black skirt black tights this is a look that i would already put together so i feel like they will definitely fit in with my wardrobe so i'm gonna grab teddy let's go out for a walk and hopefully i'll be able to show you them better in daylight as well but that gives you a little look it's really sunny out today, but I wasn't sure how cold it would be, so I've just popped on my jacket. Um, I feel like this has worked out well, because Teddy probably needed out anyway. Hopefully I won't meet anyone, because I feel like, or even see anyone, because I feel like filming on the street is just like quite embarrassing, but let's go. Okay, we're out and we are walking. I'm gonna just stop for a second to show you the shoes outside, so you can see there's a little heel. 
I am so glad I brought my jacket because whilst it's a really nice day, it is still freezing here. So it's like spring wants to come, but the temperature is just not warm enough. Um, like already, what a difference between the shoes that I have. So I have a little, very, very similar style shoes from Prada. I bought at Vister Outlet years ago. I absolutely love them, but they are acne. <laughs> like honestly, the, it's, it is around the toe part, funnily enough. It's a round toe, but they, they just dig right in. So this is a welcomed relief. I'm actually so glad that I decided to come out for a walk because I feel like this is the best way to properly test these shoes. And I don't know, like we're, you're seeing it in action. Here we go. There's Teddy. <laughs> sorry, always doing the toilet, sorry. So I also should have said I didn't put the insole in, I just have the shoes on their own because I wanted just to test them out, see how they feel. When I get back I'll pop in the insole as well and can compare. Um, I feel like for me my arch already feels... Sorry my camera cut out for a second there. Yeah basically the support and the arch is something that's already built in with the shoe but I think the, the insole would just give you that extra level as well. So I'm just going to keep walking for a wee bit and then I'm going to head back and finish up the video. I just wanted to quickly say about the company as well. So it was two brothers that actually started the business as they wanted to gift their mother a really nice pair of shoes, but they could not find something that ticked all the boxes between style, comfort and price. So, um, and I think that's what's interesting about comparing it to the Prada shoes, which are a similar style, but just so, so uncomfortable, even though they were more than twice the I mean, I am keeping up the pace with Teddy and he walks really fast, so I think this is a good review. <laughs> oh, he's in the toilet again, sorry. I feel like that's all I'm capturing on him. Okay, I'm gonna head back to the flat now. Oh, so that is me back in from the walk, probably looking a bit windswept. It is really still quite bitter out there, even though it was a nice day. And I have to say, the shoes, not one issue, no bit that's hurting, no little niggle anywhere. I'm gonna just now try them with the insole just so we can compare. I'm not gonna go back outside again, but I'll just go to the hallway maybe. Um, what I also wanted to say about these shoes is I feel like, say if you work in a job where there's a lot of standing or you're moving around, like waitressing, like myself in retail, or even maybe like if you're a school teacher, and you want to wear something that fits with your outfit but isn't uncomfortable or going to hurt, I really feel like these are ticking those boxes. So I really feel like these are giving you that option of wearing something that fits with a nice outfit but also is it, it just doesn't hurt. So let's try it with the insole in. I'm going to bring this forward just to show... Oh, I just need to put this bottom bit down. So you can see it is adding more thickness to the sole. So I'm curious to know if it's gonna feel tighter. Um, I don't know whether that's maybe what this is for. You can, I guess, maybe extend it a little bit if you needed to. So let me try it on with the insole. I'm just gonna pop it on right now. I mean, honestly, it's like stepping into like a cushion. There's like another layer of softness. I'm gonna put the other one in as well. But I also had an issue when I very briefly had an interest in running <laughs> for, I don't know how long it was, maybe like a year. I was doing training and doing running and I ran a 10K, which for me was like, whoa, at that point. And I ended up with this like very minor pain issue in my foot called, I think it's like the true medical term is patellar, patellar bursitis. I'm probably butchering that pronunciation, but it is a pain running up like the archway. So I'm very intrigued to see how this feels because I do still get it in some shoes, quite rarely, but I do still get it sometimes. Sorry, this chair is like creaking <laughs> as I'm moving. Okay, right, I'm just gonna stand up for a second. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I can see that's focusing in and out. These are like, sponges. Okay, let's go to the mirror. Wow, I cannot believe how soft those feel in. So they have added a little bit more, I guess, of an elevation into the shoe. I was worried that it would feel really tight. It definitely feels slightly tighter, but not in an uncomfortable way. It actually just feels really secure in there. And I can really feel the support, like, oops, I'm trying to show the support in here, which is where I get the pain sometimes. Overall, I am so impressed. I genuinely am. 
and I feel like for me going to work, if I want to wear a little skirt with tights in the summer, these are going to be a shoe that I can easily just circulate into my wardrobe. I'm just coming back through to the little filming station, sorry about this. Empress Shoes actually have also provided me with a discount code, so I will include it here. I'll put it in the description box as well. If you have any questions about the shoes, just send me a message on Instagram or on or leave me a comment, let me know. I went for a size six, which is my normal size, a size 39. They fit really, really well. But I think anyone that is in a working profession where you want to wear a shoe that you can wear all day for eight hour shifts, nine hour shifts, 10 hour shifts, I feel like this is genuinely such a good product. So um, I'm gonna wrap up the video. Please do let me know what you thought. If you have any comments or questions, I will link everything in the description box. But thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all again really soon on my next video. Lots of love, bye.